does in some instances. Right. Of course, you know now there's the uh, the, the the great uh, Filipino fighter uh, Nonito Donaire who's uh, um, he's about to fight uh, Fernando Montiel next uh, next month. Um, he's an amazing fighter. He's, he's an all-time great talent. Um, and, and of course, you know, e even uh, here based in the Philippines, uh, in Cebu, we have a world champion, Don Nietes. Don Nietes. Uh, yeah, yes. there's a, there's a lot of really really talented fighters out there in America and here. And I think that uh, it's really um, for for the boxing fan to go out there and, and find this information. It's a lot easier than it was back in the day. You know, one thing that uh, before you before okay. you, I yeah. want to remind you, mm. the Nonito Donaire Montiel fight will be live on ABS CBN. The Don Inietes world title fight will also be on ABS CBN. You got it right. All right, very good then. Okay, before we uh, move away from Ryan a bit, uh, I would like to ask us uh, for for a uh, last question, Ryan. How do you view? Tatagalugi uh, muna, tatagalugi, tatagalugi muna. Paano mo masasabi na ang Filipino boxer ay isa sa pinakamagaling sa mundo in English? How can you say that the Filipino boxer is one of the best in the world? You have to. You, uh, you really have to look at the the rise in the market, not just here but also abroad. I I had spoken uh, to Ronnie about this actually um, a couple of days ago about you know they brought the uh, the Carlos Tamara yeah. from America. They brought him here to, to, to fight in the Philippines. Whereas before, you wouldn't get those big fights where the hometown guy was the Filipino. The Filipino used to be fighting in Thailand, used to be fighting in Mexico, even though it still happens. But now you're, you're getting that, you know, um, the imports of opponents. where The, the boxing community can sustain that. Um, and, you know, they're now they're the big uh, shows, the Pinoy Power shows in Vegas. And, um, you know, the oh, there's a lot of, um, there's a bigger market now for Filipino boxing that wasn't there before. And uh, like guys like Jerry Penalosa, back in their day, uh, they didn't have those opportunities. That's why they went to Tokyo or, or Japan and, and, and fought guys and they, they lost close decisions. Um, you know, a fighter like Jesus Salud or even Navarrete, they, they, they had to go to other places to get big fights. Now you have these Filipino champions that can fight in America uh, and, and fight in, in the Philippines and get fair calls. But why is it, pero bakit ang sinasabi ng marami, pagdating sa professional boxing, when it comes to pre 